In this video, I will explain how to enter flights and passengers when using the Advocate Consulting online flight log tool. After logging in, if you have a single aircraft, you'll be brought to the screen describing that aircraft. If you have multiple aircraft, it will take you to a screen like this, where you choose which aircraft you'd like to work with. When I select an aircraft, it will take you to that aircraft screen. On the aircraft screen, you see some information about the aircraft at the top. Here you can add a flight to your flight log, but this button can also be found in other convenient locations in the flight log tool. And here you can find the flight logs for this specific aircraft. And because leasing is so prevalent in the aircraft industry, and it's so common for an aircraft to have multiple operators at different times, that's been very tightly integrated into the tool. And in this area, you will see all of the various entities that from time to time might be operating your aircraft and you'll have the ability to access the manifest for each of these operators. The manifest is the group of all the passengers that fly on the flights of that operator. Because this is a new account, there are no passengers on the manifest. I can add one here by clicking Add Person. So I'll go ahead and add a passenger, add some basic information about the passenger, and save. I can easily add a second passenger. But you don't have to worry about making sure that you add every single passenger that you're likely to use at this point because you will have an opportunity during the entry of flights to add new passengers then. Now, the most common feature that people will generally be using in this flight log tool is adding a flight. The place to add the flight is here in the upper right corner, the Add a Flight button. You can change the aircraft if necessary. You can select the date of the flight. The From Airport field will default to the arrival airport of your previously logged flight, but you can change this if necessary. As you enter the information in the To Airport field, it will populate with some options. You need to designate the purpose of the flight and give a brief explanation. And save. After you've entered the information about the flight, then it is time to add passenger information. Just click Add Passenger. You can choose one of the passengers that is already on your manifest, and it will pre-populate with their information. Or, if you realize that the passenger you need is not already on the manifest, you can just select New, and the passenger that you're creating here will also now appear on the manifest. Now you push Save, and that's done two things. One, it's added the person to the manifest, and two, it's populated this passenger on the flight form. I'll hit save, but note, I've made a mistake. I forgot to enter the activity at stop, so I will include that and then hit save. Now you can see that the second passenger is also on this flight. You can go on to add all the passengers to the flight, and then continue adding flights until you've added all of your flights to the flight log. I'm going to show you just a few more details of navigating. As you can see, if you have multiple aircraft, you can choose which aircraft you want to view right here. You can also access your flight log for each of your aircraft here. By default, the flight log shows in descending chronological order with the most recent flight shown first. You can click on these arrows to change it to ascending order. You can also filter the flight log. If you have multiple aircraft, you can choose which aircraft to see, or you can filter based on a date range, or by the status of log entries. Here you can see who is on the flight, and here, you can edit or delete the log entry, or you can change the status of that entry. Finally, you can customize the flight logs. Just do this by going to the aircraft page for the plane you are interested in, and click on Customize. Click on any of these options, and then those fields will appear in the flight logs. I hope that this has been helpful, and if you have any issues in adding flights or in using the flight log tool, please do not hesitate to contact us.